leaders of Latin America, leaders uh, politically, presidents uh, of many of the countries of this region, many of the great leaders of this region, and of course were profoundly uh, honored and uh, excited uh, with the two inspirations that have brought us here today, the founder uh, of uh, ALAS. Now, for the uh, Espanol uh, strained in the audience, uh, ALAS is not alas. Uh, it doesn't mean, oh, ALAS is wings. So we're going from alas to flying, to soaring. Shakira, uh, world-renowned artist, philanthropist, performer, uh, has had the vision, uh, the wonderful vision, uh, that she and her fellow artists uh, throughout the region, together with business leaders, philanthropists, and political leaders, can make this the generation that ends poverty in Latin America, and especially by focusing on the challenges of the very young, as you'll hear from her in just a moment. So can we give her a hand, first of all, for getting us together? Yeah, exactly. Is this working? <laughs> and of course, she, she is joined uh, in a partner with this by her colleagues in Alas and by one of the world's most renowned performers and songwriters and, uh, uh, and uh, great lyricists of our time, Alejandro Sanz. And we're <laughs> thrilled that you're here. I think they've sold, they've sold more albums than uh, Wall Street has lost money. Uh, and uh, this is a, uh, an, an incredible thing. So we're absolutely thrilled. Today we're here to talk about young children, children under six. The fact is, and in just one moment, this is Latin America's time, I believe. And I don't say that lightly. 30 years I've had the opportunity to work all over the world. Latin America has what it takes for the decisive breakthrough in this generation. In a world short of resources, Latin America has resources. In a world short of food, Latin America has food. It exports food to the world. It has energy resources. It has water. It has, of course, spectacular natural beauty, and it has fantastic people. Yet it has been plagued over time by social divisions, that have held back economic development. That's the history of a region that was born in conquest and had a lot of political difficulty. But now this is a region where there's a commitment for achievement for everybody, for open democratic political systems that are empowering the whole society. This is the definitive moment, I believe, for Latin America. We're gonna see great things in the coming years Partly, it's because of the leadership of the people here. It's my great honor to turn the microphone over to Shakira so that we can all hear about her vision for the region. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jeff. This is truly a historic opportunity for our Latin American children. For the first time, we have gathered with five Latin American presidents to discuss early childhood development, which is one of the most critical issues facing our region. Now I'm going to switch to Spanish, if you don't mind. <laughs> Alas. Alas is a movement created to make society aware of its responsibility and the urgency of protecting and caring for our children, particularly and especially children under six, which because they, that is the critical moment in the development of human beings. You form the brain, the intelligence is developed, and so that tomorrow they can become productive members of society. That's why we're here today, because we need more effort. Still more than 50% of the children in Latin America to not have any type of access to primary education or preschool education or any type of early stimulation. We have to change this. We know we have to change this now, as Jeffrey said, and this is the time to do so. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about 
what Alas has been doing. What's the first step it took as a foundation? This happened in Panama, the city of Panama. We convened the most influential group of businessmen, economic leaders of the region, and uh, we showed them the importance of investing, particularly in that group of children between zero and six. The next step was with the music through concert, mass concerts in the city of Mexico and in Buenos Aires. 200 million people approximately had the chance to witness this historical moment for our youth through television and the media. And we're not even counting the 450,000 people that were actually there for the concert. Now, why was this a historic event? It, because for the first time, the subject of early child development was introduced massively in our society. The third step for Alice is the step we're taking today, meeting with these five Latin American presidents to discuss the possibility of a regional agreement for children. Their presidents would like to propose something to you, would like to ask you to include early child development in your next Ibero-American Summit in El Salvador in November. We believe this is vital. And I think it has a central, it should take a central uh, place in your discussion. You need to have an agreement with specific goals so that every child in Latin America receives education, stimulation, nutrition from the moment it's born. We know if a child doesn't get the necessary nutrition and education, they will never be like us. They could never come to a university such as this. They will never have a decent job. They would never have a dignified life. And so, unfortunately, they will be condemned to poverty and uh, forever. We cannot allow this to go on. We must change this. And so, my dear presidents, we know you have the best intentions and you have the will. And this is why you're here with us today. So we'd like to thank you for being here today. And we really want this to be something for the Latin American leaders to think about. Even those who are not here today, we'd like them to commit themselves to ch childhood for this cause, our children especially those under six, so that our continent can be fair, prosperous, so that everybody will get an equal opportunity. This is the golden opportunity for Latin America, and it is called early child development. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being with us and for coming. And uh, I think. Uh, Alejandro and I and other artists. Uh, Roger Waters is here with us also. He's not Latin, but uh, I think he somehow is by osmosis. Because <laughs> he's uh, really committed to our class. And to Alas. He's already a part of Alas. And he is of great support. So Sammy Sosa is here with us also somewhere. Everybody that believes in Alas and in our children. I want you to know, dear presidents, that we will be with you, accompanying you through this uh, path that we begin today. Thank you.